tutorial on how to install RabbitMQ using Docker Compose. RabbitMQ is a powerful messaging broker that allows different applications to communicate with each other efficiently. So first of all, in the first step, we will check uh, whether we have Docker installed and Docker Composer installed. Docker Compose installed, not Docker Composer. So um, next step is that we'll create a um, new Docker Compose file. I'm just gonna go ahead and paste the markup here. Let me save it somewhere. I'm going to call it docker compose.yml. So here we are defining a service named RabbitMQ using the RabbitMQ latest um, image, as you can see here. So we are mapping the default RabbitMQ port 5672 and uh, 15672 here. to the corresponding ports on our host machine. We're also mounting a volume to persist this one, the RabbitMQ data. Lastly, we're setting environment variables here for the default RabbitMQ username and password. So we have stored this Docker Compose um, file. Now, with the Docker Compose file in place, we can now start RabbitMQ. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just um, open the terminal and navigate to the directory. Not here. As you can see, here we have Docker Compose. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually do Docker Compose up minus D command. I'm going to, I'm just going to remove the minus D thing, and I'm just going to go ahead and hit enter. This command will start the RabbitMQ container in the detached mode, meaning it will run it in the background. So I need to run the Docker first. Let's go ahead and run it. Now this command is actually initializing the Docker desktop. I'll let it re uh, let it initialize now. So what we're going to do is to run the Docker Compose up again. With the Docker Compose file in place, we can now start RabbitMQ. Open your terminal and run this Docker Compose up command. Navigate to the directory containing the Docker Compose. Make sure that you navigate it to the directory first, where the Docker Compose file was um, present, and then you ran Docker Compose up command. So this command will start the Docker Compose, uh, the Docker Compose, uh, RabbitMQ via Docker Compose. The container is actually running in an attached mode. We could have done a minus D to run in detached mode that we did not. Now what we're going to do, we are going to verify. To verify RabbitMQ is currently running. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to open a uh, browser. Let me open a browser like this and paste wow so basically to verify the RabbitMQ is running correctly open we open the web browser and navigate to this URL and we should see the RabbitMQ management console 
and then we can log in by our username and password that we did not see so what is wrong we go to the docker compose so we have this one here seems to be running fine it's 15 672 seems to me as if it is a problem with my local host or some sort of docker maybe permissions or thing we might go to use another rabbit mq management image this will provide us the port 15672 which is a web portal so what i'm going to do go to the terminal and control c to put it down again then docker compose up now we are upping the docker compose with a different image which is this one hopefully it will work now it is trying to run and now I can go ahead and do a check on localhost 1572 it is working so what is our username and password okay my user and my password we are in side we are inside the revit mq web console 